everybody. How's it going? Hope you're doing well. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, let's get started with this lesson, all right? I don't have time for this, okay? I'm doing this shit for free. I'm not going to sit here and spend five hours chit-chatting with you guys uh, when you're not paying me squat, all right? So this is... Oh, and by the way, I hope you guys are doing well with the quarantine because I know it's hard for a lot of people to, like, sit home inside because everyone's so, like, social and loves going out and, like, playing and stuff, like, playing with each other. Um, so, I mean, if you're just sitting at home, like, watch my videos. Why not learn how to paint instead of just sitting on your ass doing nothing, all right? So, sorry, I don't mean to yell at you guys, but I kind of feel like a drill sergeant sometimes. Like, you guys need a little push. You're, um, like, somewhat kind of pathetic in a lot of ways. In a lot of ways, you're, you guys are, like, okay, but, um, like, for the most part, you guys, I, I'm not gonna, you know what, I'm not gonna sit here and insult you guys, um, but anyway, so these are five things that every artist should do before waking up. Now, keyword, before, before you get up in the morning, but this, this means before your eyes are even open, all right, and, um, I do this every morning, every single morning, well, every, every night while I'm sleeping, um, and I'm sure some of you do this, uh, most of you, the vast majority, like the beginners and the people who just aren't very good, um, I, I hear you because you guys have been writing comments, hey, great portraits, uh, great lessons, you really, really helped me, um, try not to suck so much, but what do I do, um, like before I get up in the morning, like what do artists do before we even wake up, and I hear you, I'm going to answer your question right now, this is, um, this is great info. I'm going to give you the tools. The, it's called the five tools that every artist should do before waking up. Or something like that. So anyway, number one would be learn how to lucid dream. And uh, if you don't know how to do this, then just forget watching the rest of the video. Just just shut it off. Just get out of here. Go. I don't want to say go outside because of the quarantine thing, but like just don't even bother watching it. So how do you learn how to lucid dream? Go on YouTube. Um, do I really need to sit here and tell you guys? Uh, go get a book. Go um, ask a friend, ask your mom, or whatever. Um, most people know how to do it, so if you don't, figure it out. Uh, lesson number two would be um, practice painting in your dreams while you're lucid dreaming. So when you're lucid dreaming, you could extend a dream for basically as long as you want. Um, so like one time I, I spent as long as three years in one dream just practicing painting nonstop. Just, you know, make a painting, crumple it up, throw it out. Uh, another painting, crumple it up, throw it out over and over and over again, just practicing, practicing. And now a lot of you beginners don't even know what practice means. So a lot of you sitting here scratching your heads, oh, what's practice mean? So practice is when you do something over and over again repeatedly until you either get really good at it or you curl up into a ball in fetal position and suck your thumb and just wait to die. Um, and I was at that point. I was at that point when I first started. Um, I, I was trying to paint. I just wasn't doing well. Everyone was laughing at me. And I just, my thumb right in my mouth. And I just curled up in a ball. I sat in my basement in the corner, uh, in, the, in the cold, dark basement. And I just sucked my thumb in fetal position. And uh, I was I was going to die. I was going to stay there until I died. But then I had like, um, I guess, a spiritual experience. And it, I heard a voice that said, learn how to lucid dream. Practice painting in your dreams. Okay? Do it. You, you're, you're meant to do great things for this world. You're meant to be a teacher of art and painting. And just get up. Stop this shit. And so I listened. I, I got right up went right to the computer, I googled how to lose a dream, and that's basically where my journey started. So, uh, number three would be learn your colors in the dreams, because learning all the colors in the world, like in real life, it takes too long. It'll take three lifetimes to even get started. So, what I do, personally, this is, this is like artist to artist advice, um, create different towns in your dream that are different colors. So like last night I created Red Town and everything's red. So like the trees, the sun, the clouds, uh, the people, the houses, everything's red. If something's blue, turn it red. Just turn it red. Don't even think about it. And once you're done with Red Town, um, you can move on to another town. Make a Yellow Town, a Blue Town, Green Town, whatever. 
every single color you need to make a separate town for. And every time you lose a dream, you could go back to these towns. You don't have to recreate them every time, guys. All right? Are you starting to get it now? Are you starting to get it? Um, so, and another thing about making towns is, like, specific color towns is when you make the people, they have so much knowledge about the color that you created them that they can actually teach you a lot of things about the color. So, like, like in Red Town last night, I was talking to some of the villagers there, and um, a lot of them were busy because they had, like, like um, they just had a lot of housework to do, and they were actually quarantined as well. Because believe it or not, like there's also a coronavirus thing going on in my dreams, and so a lot of them like wouldn't let me in. They were wearing masks and stuff. But I could get a few people to talk to me, and they'll teach me about um, you know, like like um, all the different types of red, the different shades, and what colors you mix to make red. They're masters. They just know everything. So, um, let's see. Number four would be uh. Go, go back in time and talk to all these old artists who were like the, the professionals. Like go back to the first century, second century. Talk to Michelangelo. Talk to uh, Picasso, uh, Raphael, Donatello. You could go back and talk to all these people. They have nothing going on, guys. They're dead. They're not doing anything. So they don't mind sitting there and talking to you. Like like last night I, after Red Town, I talked to Michelangelo. And I was like, hey, Mikey. Um, what's going on? And he was just so happy to talk to somebody. And he said that he's actually a huge fan of my work. And I told him, like, I don't think he's, he's that great. But he couldn't help but admit that I'm, I'm one of the best. And once he started saying that, I, I just, like, rolled my eyes. I'm like, oh, okay, here we go. Because to be honest, guys, like, all day, every day, I get people coming up to me and just saying, like, oh, you're the best artist I've ever seen. Can you teach me how to how to learn how to be like you and I just at this point I just roll my eyes and I'm like guys please let me have a private life I know that I'm famous and all that stuff and like you know I'm a, I'm a professional and but please like give me some space so once Michelangelo was starting to be like that I had to put him right in his place I'm like listen man back off a little bit I know I know I'm the best I know um, I don't really need you to sit here and tell oh, I can't reach that stupid thing but um Anyway, what was I saying? Yeah, so... God damn it. I, that's why I wanted to get the thing. Get out of here. Um, so anyway, uh, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. So he was actually asking... Michelangelo was asking me if I could do a portrait of him. And um, the thing is... Because, like, you need to send me a Facebook message with, like, the picture you want me to use. And I told him that. And he's like, what's Facebook? Because, like, back from Michelangelo's time, like, they didn't even have YouTube, believe it or not. Or Facebook. It just didn't exist yet. And so I sent him the link for Facebook and he's like, he's like, oh, cool. I'll sign up for an account. And like, I haven't heard back from him yet. So I have a feeling that he wasn't able to do it. Probably, um, in my dream tonight, I'll probably go back and help him out. And I'll, um, like kind of show him how to sign up and like show him how to take a selfie and send me a picture and all that stuff. So, uh, probably within the next week, I would say I'll put up a portrait of Michelangelo, uh, just cause he's like begging me for it. Um, and now number five, the last lesson is just get enough sleep, guys. Get your good seven to eight hours. Make sure you eat well. And um, that's basically it, guys. So, uh, yeah, have, have a good one. All right? Be safe, okay? All right, bye.